Hello everyone, my name is Agent M, and welcome to another Minecraft concept. So today I have general item stores and chests. You can just buy items using your gold in your inventory. And you can get all kinds of other goodies just by buying them. Now, I currently don't have any money, so I can't really buy anything. Um, but we can give ourselves some money, so we say score players set each the money so I'll just cheat in some money maybe a thousand or whatever and with that amount of money we can buy some potato seeds and 50 potato seeds and we can plant them somewhere in the lands now what's cool about these item stores is not only can you just buy items if you have enough money and you can also sell items really quickly by just dropping them in and you can just buy some other items like 10g for this plank Maybe 20g for these flint. And you can see you can always just sell it again. And the price is uh, on, on the flint itself. So buy price is 20g and sell price is 10g. So you don't make profit of it. <laughs> so you should be considerate of what you're buying. Now this general store has some carrot seeds which are uh, available throughout the entire year. Um, but can only be planted in spring, summer, autumn. You can see here are some spring seeds because it's spring right now. So if internally the season changes to summer, you can see we all have different kinds of items like red tulip seeds or poppy seeds. Um, and the carrot seeds are still there. So depending on the season, uh, different items are sold. And also in the item store, you can see there's snowballs here. And during spring, there's flint and feathers. Near you have some nice cherry wine, lemonade, yeah, some ale. You go to autumn, you have those carved pumpkins. Really expensive, don't have the enough money. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, I am now going to show you real quick um, what it looks like in the data. So if I uh, pick that up real quick, you can see here. Um, on the right is all the items that are listed um, are available in the shops. So you can see lemonade. Um, there is some data going on. Um, we can set the potion color and give it a cost. This is the buy price, and if you sell it again, this is the 25. And also, there's like a little gimmick in, in the game that if if you if we go to um, summer, the wheat seeds are 12g. But if we go to fall, the wheat seeds are 10g, so you can have discounts and like um, higher prices based on the ID. So if we have ID 0, that's like the base uh, price, 10g. But in summer, it's more expensive because maybe because of the heat or whatever, so it costs more, but it will still use the same item. As you can see, it used template turtle spawn egg. That's because I internally use a turtle spawn egg to spawn a plant. Um, of the type wheat because there are quite some other plants here like sweet berry seeds or poppy seeds or red tulip seeds which need custom plants to spawn instead of uh, the regular plants that pop up when you just use regular seeds you can just use a template for that and the templates are here on the left as you can see a turtle spawn egg is the template it will translate whatever the name is um, by just specifying negative one then I have like the item that is actually used, so it's actually a turtle spawn egg. Um, then we specify what it's placeable on, um, that's internally used, so it only is placed on farmland. I use the model, um, automatically set the model, and the base uh, model is item generated because I do not want to, um, yeah, take from the wrong model. For example, item handheld. Then we're also hiding the flag, so there is no random gibberish showing up and then we have the entity tag with an age and um i don't know why this age is here oh yeah i i remember why um anyway there is an age so it's a baby turtle so it's really small and then we have like the tag so that it's like a temporary thing and it's newly spawned so i can internally use that again also, we have like the um, carrot on a stick for like 
watering cans. Um, so I remodel those by setting a model again, model base. And then we can hide the flags again and whatever. Also, we can set um, attributes like attack speed and attack damage to zero. So if we hit someone with the carrot on a stick, it doesn't damage. And we um, specify that we cannot drop the item. So if we try to drop the item, it will not let us. And we have the potion template, um, which also just takes a, a Minecraft potion and translates it. That's it. Um, we use that for lemonade, so we don't have to re-specify this every time. It's pretty useful, and then there's like some regular Minecraft items like snowballs. And if we have listed those items, to get them spawning in the shop, you need a um, shop stocking rules. Um, those are basically little containers um, giving, for example, spring and summer. And so these are the items that are available in spring. These are available in summer, autumn, winter. And then at the end, we have all the items that are available throughout the entire year. This is the item shop, as you can see, oak planks, stick, cobblestone were always available. And the other items were only available during the respective seasons. And then here in the general store, we have all the seeds, as you can see, summer, we have all these beautiful seeds, and carrot seeds were available all throughout the year. Now I'm using uh, Python to do all this, um, generation and I'll, I'll pump it into a data pack and also the models used for these um, custom seeds for example carrots whatever um, they, those are available in the resource pack that I used so altogether it, it makes a for a nice item shop so let's buy three pumpkin seeds and we're out of money we can sell it all of course we don't make any money out of it we're just losing money um, as you can see we don't have enough um, money for all that so you you cannot buy it yeah and that's basically it um i'm gonna probably use this for one of my upcoming maps which is like in gonna be released in like 2030 or whatever I don't know it's probably gonna take a while I don't have any exact release dates but it's probably gonna be similar to Harvest Moon Story Valley kind of like that and I'm, I'm like um, setting up a, a shop system that works pretty well and when this is done of course I will um, make it so that we can actually spawn the seeds because yeah it currently doesn't work but that will soon work and also like um, all the tools and whatever so i hope you're um excited to see the end product because i am very excited to see the end product but i have no clue what it's going to be like because i have no idea yeah i'm not so good at making videos <laughs> it shows